Hey everyone, I'm Tanay Pant, and we are going to be talking about Linea's product roadmap. I am a developer advocate in Linea, and with me, I have Arthur and Gwen. Arthur, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, hello guys, I'm Arthur, I'm the product manager for Linea. Gwen. Hey guys, so Gwen, uh, pro uh, developer advocate uh, as well for Linea. Right, uh, nice to have you both. And uh, Linear released its product roadmap last week, and uh, I see a lot of excitement in the community. And we thought it would be great to have uh, Arthur on the stream to check about like the product roadmap. So I will bring this up now. And uh, this is a really nice uh, looking product roadmap. You know, we have four different categories. We have like divided by timeline. Uh, what I was super curious about was how you chose these uh, categories like performance, Ethereum alignment, trust minimization, capital efficiency. Could you talk us through like, how did you select these four categories um, and what exactly do they mean? Yeah, sure. Um, so like, I think what you want from a blockchain, right, is like it being fast and cheap. So that's the performance piece. Uh, you also want it to be uh, very safe to use and secure. And that's what we call the trust minimization piece. One thing that is a bit special to Linea is that we want to be very Ethereum aligned. And what that means is like from a technical perspective, like keeping Ethereum compatibility so that all the clients think um, and uh, later that we like we move to type one uh, ZKVM, which is basically we will have exactly the same structure, meaning we can also prove uh, blocks from uh, Ethereum and scale uh, Ethereum directly. Um, so this part is very special to, to Linea and capital efficiency is also a new thing that we are introducing and the core idea is to make sure that a uh, user on chain can have a very good uh, returns. Uh, and so for this, we introduced last week uh, the, the native yield. This is super cool. So maybe let's talk about the timelines and start going through some of them. Um, and also like why some of these features and results are significant. So maybe you could walk us through like the Q3 and what do we expect from Linear during this time period? Yeah. So Q3 will be a, a big piece uh, from the performance perspective. We have limitless prover uh, coming that will uh, 10x the speed at which we are able to, to produce a block. Uh, the small fields uh, upgrade uh, in cryptography will make the prover 10x faster as well. Uh, and with that, we plan to increase the limits. Um, the first increase, we target a 2x increase. So approximately uh, 50 million gas per second, which is quite conservative, but we will want to scale uh, progressively. Uh, the other piece on Ethereum alignment is that we are, will have the long awaited uh, Prague upgrade, which actually include all the upgrades since uh, the London fork. And that will make sure that um, a developer uh, building on Linea can use like the latest feature from the Ethereum protocol, like 7702, uh, that uh, brings account abstraction, uh, push zero that was introduced in the previous uh, fork as well. And basically, they will bring uh, their uh, modern uh, code bases with zero effort to, to linear. Everything will sync uh, uh, without a problem. And we also introduced uh, two weeks ago the burn mechanism. So it's our way to be very aligned economically with Ethereum and make sure we are contributing to uh, the, the value of ETH. And for this, uh, we will take all the net gas fees uh, of the, on the chain and use it to burn ETH with 20% of the net gas fees. And the remaining uh, part will be used to burn Linear, which will accrue the, the price uh, for Linear token holders as well. Uh, yeah, so it's very nice. I think it's a very nice uh, upgrade that uh, will push this quarter. Um, I, I was very interested to like hear you like speaking about the escape hatch uh, because I think it's something very important for the, the stage one, right? Uh, uh, we had a lot of questions uh, around uh, this feature. So can you can you explain uh, us a little bit uh, what it, what it is? Yeah. Um, so this is coming in Q4 of uh, this year. Uh, and the goal is to be a stage one rollup, which basically means a few things. Like the most important one is, is this escape hatch feature, 
which means uh, even if uh, the operator uh, operating the, the sequencer goes down or try to censor, people have a way to uh, either exit from the rollup, withdrawing their phones, or just transact on, on the rollup. And this is done uh, by uh, forcing the transaction uh, on the L1 uh, directly. So this guarantees censorship resistance uh, and uh, user can exit anyway. Uh, stage one comes also with uh, uh, decentralizing the security council. We will add additional signers that have the ultimate power to upgrade the, the, the Linea protocol. And this will include at least half of the signer being in over uh, um, outside of uh, consensus. Wow, very cool. And uh, Arthur, you personally, what are you most excited about, like from all the features and results that you're expecting in Q4 from Linear? Yeah, uh, very exciting by uh, pre-confirmation, which will basically give almost instant uh, transaction confirmation to, to users. So you can really have a snappy UX. Uh, that's really cool. Uh, the native yield is also a, a big piece that we, we have worked on. And as I explained, like increase the capital efficiency of the chain. Nice. That's, I think that's very cool uh, to, to have uh, this pre-confirmation feature. Um, so I think next we can speak about what will happen uh, early next year, early 2026. Uh, so what's the plans for, for Linear? Um, so yeah, one thing that I'm very excited about is the, the uh, type one prover and rollup. Uh, this will mean that we are fully compatible with uh, Ethereum, uh, which uh, is important for uh, uh, being able to sync all the features, for instance, uh, ENS uh, that is coming with name chain uh, will be able to do um, cross chain calls between Ethereum and uh, and Linear without uh, having to jump through some loops uh, to to do that. So it will make the the life of uh, every developer easier. Um, this also paved the way to uh, real time proving of Ethereum uh, blocks. Uh, which have in the next section and what it means is that with real-time proving we can scale the layer one directly uh, the way it works is that we have those zero knowledge proof that we will produce under 12 seconds and so instead of having uh, all the nodes in the Ethereum on ethereum uh, replaying all the transaction to make sure they are valid they will be able just uh, to check the zero knowledge proof which is much faster. And with that, like uh, Ethereum will be able to, to scale the, uh, the L1. And uh, so it's something that it's a goal that we are working toward uh, as well with the other team. And so we hope that uh, that can help uh, Ethereum uh, directly as well. We also introduce uh, what we call soft L1 finality. And like basically the outcome is that uh, uh, we you user will have cheaper bridging. The finality will be lower, so that, for instance, if you are doing a deposit to a centralized exchange, it can be done between ten and twenty minutes, uh, which is mu much faster than the, the six hours delay that we have today. We also aim to uh, reach stage two, which uh, means that uh, the we will basically remove the training wheels and uh, make sure that uh, the upgrades um, are only applied after a 30 days uh, delay unless we can prove uh, um, bugs on, on chain. So this means that even if the Linear Security Council or the governance uh, goes uh, malicious, uh, like user all have a 30 days uh, period to, to withdraw and so uh, they don't. They are not at risk of losing their funds. Cool. And uh, what's coming beyond Q1 next year uh, for Linea? Yeah, a few things. So, so what's next on the performance side? Uh, our goal is to achieve a twenty thousand TPS by the end of twenty twenty six. So this ensure that uh, every DAP on Linea can scale to. Uh, the needs of uh, their, their user. This also ensures that uh, 
the gas price stay low for, for all the user. We have the real-time proving that I mentioned. Uh, Ethereum is continually uh, doing upgrades, now at uh, increased uh, pace, so we will uh, be compatible with the further uh, upgrade. And one of the big pieces we are working on, obviously, is decentralizing the, the sequencer as well. The, the last piece as well that is uh, on there is uh, the formal verification, which is the idea of being able to, to prove that the code uh, work uh, as intended and for a complex uh, system like uh, Linea and our zero knowledge proof, that is very uh, important to ensure that there is no hidden bug uh, on the protocol. Nice, very cool. Thank, thanks for sharing uh, all those updates. Uh, I think that's, that's a lot of information and uh, a lot of features that we will release. Um, and last question, I think like if people have more questions about what you said, uh, where, where should they ask? Um, so we have uh, posted a detailed uh, post about the linear roadmap on uh, our forum. So user can go there, ask questions and so on. And of course, also on Discord, like our community uh, team is always uh, answering very quickly to, to all users. Nice. Very Thanks cool. Lot, Arthur. Yeah. Thanks, Arthur. Thank Thanks, guys. Brent. And uh, what we'll do is we'll also monitor these questions. So if we see uh, like any questions come in, maybe we can create another one of these videos answering the most asked questions. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all around. Have a nice one. Thanks a lot. Bye, guys.